Hello, I'm James Clark from King's College London, and in this short video I'm going to show you how to change your analysis choices in GraphPad Prism. On the screen you can see some experimental data consisting of three groups, a control group shown in group A, and group B and group C are two other groups of experimental data. I've plotted these data as a graph, and you can see there seem to be some differences. I have carried out an ordinary one-way ANOVA on these data and compared group 1 and group 2 to control groups and have shown that there is a statistical significant difference between control group and group 1 and control group and group 2. This analysis was a standard one-way ANOVA with no repeated measures. However, having carried out this analysis, I might want to change my mind about the way I analyse the data. One way of doing this would be go back to the experimental data to click on the Analyze button or choose Insert New Analysis from the menu bar and choose a different analysis set. I'm going to run another one-way ANOVA. When I do this, PRISM automatically knows that I've already carried out a one-way ANOVA on my experimental data and gives me two options. The first option is to analyse this data table again, creating new results. This can be cumbersome as you end up with lots of different analysis tables, which sometimes can be confusing. The second option is to change the parameters of the existing analysis without the need to create a new results sheet. It simply changes the analysis within the existing results sheet. I'm going to do the first option here and press OK. Let's just suppose that this data set was, in fact, a repeated measures data set. So I can click on repeated measures. I'm going to leave all the other settings as they were, except multiple comparisons. I'm going to compare every mean with every other mean, and then press OK. Now, of course, it's created a new experimental results sheet called RM One Way ANOVA because it's a repeated measures ANOVA and I can look at my multiple comparisons and deduce what my experimental results mean. Of course, another way of doing this, as we have just heard, is to modify the existing analysis. A quick way of doing this is to use the Change Analysis Parameters button on the Analysis toolbar. It looks like a little red grid with a blue arrow pointing at it. You could also access on a Mac with Command-T or on a PC with Control-T. So I can simply select my existing ANOVA, click on this button, and then I can change the experimental design. So in this case, I'm going to do a repeated measures and compare them versus control. And now you can see it's created the RM one-way ANOVA window, and now it is a repeated measures ANOVA. Another way of doing it would be go to the Change Analysis Parameters on the menu bar. This will do the same as pressing the little red square with the blue arrow. Having carried out these analyses, you might actually want to apply the same analysis to a different data set within the PRISM project. I've got experimental data too here, a similar experiment with a different outcome. I can click on my one-way repeated measures ANOVA, and rather than change the analysis parameters, I can use the Change section of the menu bar and change the data set. This button looks like a little spreadsheet with a tick next to it. If I click on this button, I can then choose my second data set and apply the same analyses. And now I've carried out a one-way ANOVA on experimental data too. You'll notice that this analysis has now moved from experimental data one into experimental data two because I'm no longer analyzing the data from experimental data one. So as you can see, there are multiple ways of changing your analysis choices that don't result in multiple cumbersome results windows.